Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a video that I am very excited about, and it starts with this, the Galileo model that Round 2 put out about two years ago. Now, this was a very exciting kit to be able to work on, uh, because once again, this was a kit that people had been waiting for for decades. The Galileo, the original shuttlecraft, had a model kit put out in the 70s with various re-releases, but it was not a well-done kit. Uh, the proportions weren't right. The detail wasn't right. So people were thrilled when Round 2 finally put out an updated and improved version of the model kit. Now, there was one big problem, one big fault in the model kit, and that is it did not have an interior. If you look at mine, even though I put some lights in it, um, I had to black out that front windshield because there was nothing to see within the shuttle. Now, we always kind of knew that there would probably be an interior put out for the shuttle. And this year in 2022, they have done it. And so now they have finally done it. We finally have the Galileo shuttlecraft put out with an interior. Now, if you still have one of the old kits on your shelf, the ones that don't have an interior and you haven't built it yet, you're in luck because they are also selling the interior as a separate kit. So we have the Galileo Shuttle Interior Parts Pack. So if you just need the interior, here's your option. It comes with all of the decals, all of the figures, and all of the parts to do the interior for the shuttle. So you've got a couple choices, and this is a very exciting addition to the Galileo Shuttlecraft model kit. So let's take a look first at the Galileo Shuttle Craft packaging. So this is the Galileo Shuttle as we knew it in the 2020 release, but also with all the new additional parts to do the interior. We can see the box now has that box art that's going to be kind of carried out throughout the Star Trek line, the Star Trek Universe boxing. So you can see some new kind of Elkar style um, labeling, a uh, different font. We no longer have the captain representing the series up in the top corner, but just some wonderful production photos of the interior model kit. Across the bottom, we get a look at the new decal sheet. So from this point on, this is kind of what we had last time. Tons of wonderful decals for the Galileo. Uh, you could also do as a Columbus, the Einstein, so a couple choices there. But everything over here is new. These are the decals for the interior. So you've got a lot of control panels. You've got a lot of readouts. You also have decals for the figures. You have little Starfleet Delta signals for their uniform. You also have these little rank ribbons that will go on the figures. More art along the side. Across the top, you can see that we have our figures. So we've got Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Yehora, Scotty, Chekhov, and Sulu. And you can kind of see some of the figures here and how they could be arranged within the shuttle. Seven crew members, all new sculpted figures. We'll look at this later, but these are not reused bridge figures. Bonus decals, alternate registries, and clear parts for custom lighting. So you can see I was able to light the front ends of my nacelles. Uh, my batteries are going out a little bit, so I don't think you can see the interior lighting, but I did have these vents lighting up when my batteries are at full power. And I even did a little hidden battery compartment in this ship, but that is in the videos from 2020. Now opening up the model kit, along the edges, you can see we have the painting instructions for the shuttlecraft interior. So wonderful drawings here, so you can kind of see how everything should be done. On this side, we have the paint guide for the shuttlecraft. Decal placement across this side. Uh, what registries go with what name. Uh, how you're supposed to cut it if you're changing the registry. And on our last side, we have paint guides, what paints you should actually be using on the ship and on the figures, and then 
um, what rank sleeve ribbon goes with what figure, uh, what decal goes with whom, and an idea of how to paint those figures. Now, I, I would really say um, you might want to look at the videos I did on the Galileo from 2020 uh, to get an idea of what is in the shuttlecraft. Uh, but here's our first new sprue. This is a sprue for the new interior pack. We're going to set that aside for a moment. All right, these are the clear parts for the actual shuttlecraft. And here we have the instruction manual for the Galileo shuttle and the interior. They're all in one instruction pack. Here are the actual decals. We saw them on the box art, but now we can get in real close and kind of see what they look like. So you can see lots of little buttons, some very nice colors for all those control panels. Those are the rank insignias for the figure sleeves. Uh, there are the insignias. So it looks like there are different insignias for the different divisions. As always, very nicely done decals. All right, I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to separate out the new interior parts from the old shuttlecraft parts, and then we'll start going through the new parts for this release. Before we go through the parts that are new for this model kit. Let's look at this, the separate packaging. So this is the Galileo Shuttle Interior Parts Pack. Now, all of the plastic for the interior is the same whether you're getting it in the parts pack or getting it with the new release of the Galileo. In fact, uh, even the instructions are the same. So you get the full Shuttlecraft uh, directions, even if you're just buying the parts pack. Uh, it, of course, takes you through how to build the interior, uh, but then it's also talking about how you actually build the shuttlecraft up around it. The decals are a little bit different since you don't need the decals for the rest of the Galileo. Uh, so there is just really a small decal sheet laid out a little bit differently, but it has the same decals as what we saw on the large decal for the Galileo shuttlecraft release. So there is the so there are those decals. Here is our paint guide for the figures. Um, I like the interior parts pack because the, the paint guide is so much bigger. Um, here, it takes up the entire back of the box. A uh, little bit better color callouts for what's the lower walls, upper walls, uh, what some of the details are. So very nicely done paint guide for the interior parts pack. And of course, so this boxing is just the interior parts, no outer shell, none of the rest of the shell. This is just something you buy if you already have the old release of the Galileo shuttle. Now, one thing that was a little bit fun for me doing this video is because I had the parts from the shuttle kit and the parts from the parts pack, I was able to paint and do a little bit of building on one set while keeping the other sets on the sprue. So as we go through these parts, we're going to see them on the sprue, untouched, and we're also going to see them with a little bit of paint, and we're going to see a bit of how they go together. So the first thing we should look at are our actual figures. So you get seven bodies. Here are three of the male bodies. Here are some of the arms. A little variations in the fingers. Some are fists, some are open, some are pointing. But as you can see, very nicely done. Lots of detail there. You can see the boots. You can see hemlines. You can see necklines around the shirts. Just very well done. You can see this brew is repeated to provide the other three male figures. Okay, there's... I believe Yohora's arms. And here we have some of the heads. Well, we have all the heads. They seem like pretty good likenesses to me. Looks like they're well sculpted. And of course, we have just one female body in that TOS miniskirt uniform and boots. 
and these will look very good built up. Now, I know there had been some concern previously that these would be the same figures as the old bridge set. They are definitely not, and they're considerably bigger. So let's take a look at some of the bridge set figures compared to the new ones. And we'll probably look at these little chairs a little bit later, but here are uh, the little chairs for the shuttlecraft. I've gone ahead and painted a couple of them black. All right, right there you can see considerably bigger than Kirk. Yeah, just overall, bigger figure. So not even really in the same scale. I think we have Spock here. But you can kind of see the size difference. Uh, so here is one of the male bodies with the Spock head kind of put together. And here are the two Kirks. Now, I'm not very good at painting figures, so kind of forgive this guy, uh, but this should give you a good idea of what the molding is like. Uh, there does look to be like a very fine texture on this figure, so we'll have to see how that paints up. The next brew I'd like to look at is the clear parts. Uh, so this is a part for the ceiling, so you can look into the shuttlecraft. And then a lot of the control panels are done in clear. So this is the uh, circular display that comes up out of the console console. These are some of the main control consoles here and here. Uh, these, I like these a lot. These are clear computers that go on the wall of the shuttlecraft. And if you look at these, they all have raised buttons um, for those consoles and they are all very nicely done. Now, here's my first bit of build advice. If you're going to use the decals for these control panels, sand them flat. Yes, I know you can use Microsoft. You can try and get them to conform to these little buttons. I did not have much luck with that at all. Um, so if you want to use the decals, sand these guys flat, sand some of these flat, um, and just let the decals do the work. It will look a lot better to put those decals on flat surfaces. But what's kind of fun about having these raised ones is you can paint these consoles black or silver and then kind of sand off the tips of those raised buttons, let some light shine through them, use a little bit of cleared paint, and you can have painted consoles that can actually be lit up from behind. On this sprue, we have the port side um, wall, including the doorway, some detail across here on the back. We have the frame for the control panel, and we have little tubes for the tanks that go across the back wall. Now we could take a look at those clear parts put onto that frame. You can see I've gone ahead and I've decaled this and it looks all right, especially from a distance. Um, but you can see that little uh, circular dish that they look through. Now I did paint mine. I wonder what it would look like if you left it clear or a little bit translucent, but obviously a very nice decal, very nice decals for these control panels. Uh, there are some of those wonderful colors. And right there on that one, you can kind of see the Microsoft did not really get it to conform to those raised buttons. So uh, once again, I think if you're decaling it, maybe sand those off so they lay flat. Uh, but that is our control panel for the shuttlecraft. And I think it looks really good. So once again, that is kind of this piece with those clear parts put on and decaled. And like, this is kind of a rough draft. Um, it's kind of nice to have two sets of parts to kind of play with. I don't think this should be black. I think that should have been the same gray as the console and just these three should have been black. Uh, but there is a very nice little set of levers there on the control panel. Uh, so that is a wonderful little console, especially something you can be viewing from a distance. That just looks wonderful with those parts and those decals. 
Here's that port side wall with a little bit of paint on it so you can see those details a little bit better. Those are those clear computer parts and you can see the decals on those so you get those wonderful little colors. Uh, you can see I was able to keep the decal over the right raised spots but you can see they don't quite lie down. Um, even with a couple generous applications of Microsol. Um, but you can kind of imagine, since those are clear parts, uh, you could get those little control panels to light up. And then we'll look at this little detail in a second. Uh, that's kind of one of those movable viewers uh, that was accessible to the people piloting the, the uh, shellcraft. Now, I will say I did not have the right paints on hand to match what are in the instructions. I used the closest things I already had on my paint shelf. So these colors are not really accurate uh, to the shuttlecraft. The interior gets built up along this floor that you install. Uh, you can see here, uh, that is another little uh, control panel that goes in the console. You get several of these chairs. Uh, these, our little control panels that go on the opposite wall. Here's the bottom of one of the chairs. Here's that little set of levers that we just saw in the control pack. And here, this is a nice little detail. The floor has a little hatch. Underneath the hatch, you get a detail like this. And this is a cover to cover that hatch up. So here's our floor. There's that little hatch. We're gonna go ahead and put the control panel in. Here's what the opposite wall looks like on the sprue. So you can see some very nice little molded computer details there. Uh, just little parts and slots where you put those computer parts on. And let's look at this side, uh, painted and decaled. There's another little scope. Here are all the control panels that kind of go um, next to the chairs. And then these are those little parts I pointed out on that opaque sprue. There are kind of some computer mounts uh, that go on this back section. Um, looks like I tore a decal here. That's not quite in the right place anymore, which is kind of very, a very nice little wall. And this is going to fit in right here. You can see some tabs there on the bottom. And that is one side of our shuttlecraft interior. Now this sprue had something that I found to be really kind of fun. So this is the doorway from the front to the aft of the shuttle. Uh, it has a front, it has a back. And those two parts go together like this. They just fit together. And then you have a door that just goes right up here. And this does not get glued in place. So this moves. So you can really configure it however you like. Uh, but I, I just found that to be a fun little touch. Um, I'm sure there's someone who's going to figure out some way to make this movable uh, by control or by some sort of lever. Uh, but I just kind of found that to be a nice little touch that designers put in. Of course, once it's on the floor, um, it won't fall out. But yeah, I, I, just, I just really like that little moving door. These two sprues have a couple more chairs. They also have uh, these little tanks um, that fit on the back wall of the shuttlecraft. And here's that back wall on the sprue, along with um, a big piece that, piece that will be the roof of the shuttle. All right, there you can see the back wall is put in place and these tanks will fit into these holes on the bottom and the back wall of the shuttlecraft. And with the tanks in place, we can go ahead and get our doorway into the right place in the shuttle. All right, let's outfit the shuttlecraft a little bit. Let's put a couple of the chairs in place. And once again, here's just a little comparison of how these figures compare with the old bridge set figures. All right, here is kind of a final close-up look at my mock-up of the Shellcraft interior. So here you can see that control panel, the chairs, the figures. 
and get an idea of how they're going to fit. Uh, here are those tanks along the back of the shuttle. See if we can see those little control panels and computer consoles across the back. And of course, one of my favorite little things, that opening door so you can see into the back. All right, I just get a kick out of that. That's kind of fun. And of course, when we build this up for real, uh, this wall will be installed right here. All right, after that wall, if you remember, there was this ceiling along with a very nice clear part uh, that go together like this, and that will fit across the top of the shuttle. So if you remove the lid of the shuttle, uh, you'll be able to look in and you can see you probably will be able to get a couple good angles here here's what you can see in and if you were looking in from the door and let's see if we can get an idea of what you might be able to see in if you were looking in from the windshield so this really makes me think that um, I should leave this clear so you can see that decal from both sides. But as you can see, especially once, right now I only have three seats in there. Once you have all eight and all the figures in there, uh, you will have quite a bit to see. But, and I do like, you're going to be able to see a lot of these details um, from the front of the ship through those big windows. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really excited uh, for this model kit. I think it's really going to add um, pretty much an entire extra model kit to the Galileo shuttle. And I'm very excited to keep going on this build. Um, this is, of course, no way close to being done. I still have to paint the figures. I have to position the figures. And I have to build a shuttlecraft up around it so we can really see what it looks like fully completed. So this video is just kind of the start of my Galileo Shuttlecraft interior build. Um, I'm very excited to work on it for real. I'm very excited to get a shuttle built around it. And I'm very excited um, for you guys to be able to start working on this kit yourselves. One thing that just really struck me as I worked on this kind of mock-up uh, is really the designers clearly had a lot of passion for the Galileo when they made first the shuttlecraft and now the interior parts pack. Um, you can just kind of tell when a model is put together and designed with a lot of attention to detail and love for the subject matter. You don't always see that, but things like these consoles being molded and clear, uh, things like that movable door, uh, decals that really match up really wonderfully. Um, it's It's just well done and I think when you start to get to hold it and build it, you'll kind of see how nice this model is to build and to have fun with. Uh, so we'll do several more videos where we actually get this built up, where we paint the figures, and where we get it to a completed shuttle again. Thank you guys for following the channel. A big thank you to Polar Lights and Round 2 for letting me work on these review copies. Uh, we'll have a lot more videos coming out soon. Thank you guys very much.